Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with AA Shaves and I am back again. Feels good to say hi to everybody after about a little over a month hiatus. Um, I think it's like the longest hiatus I've had since I've started, since I started up this channel, which is um, kind of funny to think about. Um, but I'm just really happy because on October 3rd, some of you might have seen it on my Instagram, but um, on October 3rd, my wife and I, we got married uh, at a beautiful lake in Colorado called Lake Isabel. Um, just a really small ceremony. We actually just eloped and we hiked two and a half miles up to the lake and two and a half miles back. So it was, the whole thing was a five mile hike. Um, we did the entire hike in our wedding gear and it was just super, super awesome. Um, and we even, apparently we, we even got the first snow in the area, which was really exciting. And they had a really awesome snow cap mountain backdrop for where our ceremony was and it was just a really really great experience so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple photos from that right now and i'll be right back And here's my ring. Feels good to wear that. It's uh, made of tungsten. Apparently it's like indestructible. And I just, I just think it looks cool too. So, all right, so uh, let's get into the gear for tonight's shave. And sorry about the lighting. Um, I'm doing a night shave. I don't really do night shaves too often, but uh, I got like my lamp kind of set up out here. So kind of doing the, uh, the best I can. I don't really have great lighting in my apartment. So, um, Hopefully it's okay. I don't think it's too bad. Um, all right, so let's dive into tonight's soap. So uh, we got Barrister and Man Hallows. So just recently, um, my buddy Josh from Jet Behind Ascent, um, he makes awesome uh, shave videos. So I'll be sure to link to his channel in my description for those of you who haven't seen him yet. Um, we recently did a, a soap trade and he sent me um, he sent me a couple tubs of Bear Stern Man Hallows, and this is, uh, so Will from Bear Stern Man, he just recently came out with this one again in his new base, I think in the Omnibus base is, is his newest one, um, but this, this is an old base, this is, I think, Soft Heart, um, man, I don't even know how many bases that is ago, like three or four, if anyone knows, let me know, um, but you know what, uh, ever since I started in the hobby in 2017, for whatever reason, I always wanted this one, but I just kept missing out on it. Um, but I'm really happy that he sent me Hallows this time around and that I'm able to use it. So uh, thank you for that, Josh. Um, yeah, again, Soft Heart Base, one of the older bases. Let's take a look at the soap. I think it's, I know Omnibus's newest base is pretty soft, but I think this older one, Soft Heart, is a little on the firmer side. But I don't know if I've ever tried a soap in a soft heart. I have a lot of soaps in Excelsior. Um, but, you know, it's Will from Bear Stern Man, and he's great at what he does. So I'm sure this soap is going to be awesome, too. Look at that. I love that color there. Amazing scent. I'm glad. Thank you, Josh, for sending me this one. I'm glad I finally am shading with it in my, my den today. Yeah, I really, really, really love Hallows. Um... Yeah, and I like his older label, by the way, that he had years ago. It just had the skull on it. The new one looks cool, but I kind of like the minimal, minimalist aspect of that older label. All right, so uh, moving on to the razor. Got the, uh, the handle is a rubber handle. This is um, like an Edwin Jagger DE86 handle that I got. And um, the razor head is my favorite razor head of all time. And man, it was only, I forget how much this razor head was. I think it was only like 15 bucks, but it's been my favorite razor head for, man, I probably like a year and a half now. Um, and it's really inexpensive and you could see, you could actually, if you look closely, you could see that it's kind of uh, wearing here because I use it so much. Um, yeah, that is the Maggard V3A aggressive razor head. I don't know what it is about this head, but I just get perfect shaves with it every time. 
it is aggressive um, and it works for me because I have coarse hair. But man, it is just a killer head for my facial hair. I don't know what it is, but I get perfect shaves with it every time. So razor setup is the Maggard B3A head on the, the rubber uh, Edwin Jagger the E86 handle. Nice rubbery grip in there. That's kind of wearing as well. Um, oh well, I'm not really too obsessed with like the looks of things. So if something's like, if there's a soap label that's wearing or if there's like a razor that has some wear, um, it's really not a huge deal to me, so. And to kind of fit the, um, the fall theme here with the hallows, I got Trader Joe's Sparkling Green Apple. Stuff's good. It kind of tastes like an apple Jolly Rancher. All right, let's see. Blade. Um, Lily's Blade. So a while back, I got a blade sampler pack from uh, Eric from the, the Better Every Shave YouTube channel. I'll be sure to link to his channel as well for those of you who haven't seen him. But he sent me a couple blades um, a while ago, and one of them is Willie's. I don't think I've tried a Willie's. Um, if anyone has ever tried one, let me know how you like it. And if you know where they're made, let me know that as well, because I'm always interested to know where blades are made. Um, all right, so I'm going to pop that in the in the razor. Uh, let's see, aftershave. I don't have the aftershave for Hallows, but going with the classic Halloween aftershave here, Flowers in the Dark from Dr. John's. Fortunately, Dr. John's is no longer around, um, as a lot of us know, which is a bummer, but love that label too on Flowers in the Dark. Um, but yeah, Flowers in the Dark, arguably the best lavender scent in the wet shaving space. It's my favorite lavender out of all the ones I've smelled. It's like, it's a very dark lavender. It's like lavender with um, coffin wood and ozone. And I think what they mean by coffin wood is like maple, maybe like maple and cedar, but it's a very dark woody lavender and it's cool because when you first put it on you get like a blast of the lavender and then on the dry down you get more of the coffin wood um which is just really cool um yeah so this isn't available anymore but i'm trying to trying to conserve as much as possible here and what's funny in the soap too is uh it's kind of starting to get these little crystals here I think that just happens when soap gets old, but I don't know if anyone knows like the proper term for that, maybe crystallization, I don't know, let me know. But yeah, a lot of my soaps that have been kind of sitting for a while are starting to develop that on top. All right, and brush for today. So I got this big old um, synthetic brush that was recently gifted to me by Glenn Sherman. Um, he makes really awesome YouTube videos. Um, his YouTube name is The Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. Um, so I'll be sure to link to his channel for those of you who haven't seen him. Um, yeah, I was over at his shave den a few months ago, and uh, he was kind enough to send this one my way. I don't think he's a huge fan of synthetic brushes, but I am. So <laughs> I got this one off him. And look at the size of this thing. It, that is just insane. And... Uh, yeah, just the texture kind of fits the Halloween theme. I like this brush a lot, so. Um, yeah, so, all right. So, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get the Hallows scooped up in my prayer shave bowl here. Um, and I'm just gonna get it lathered up. I forgot my scooper in the bathroom, so I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna lather it up in the bowl, and then I'll be uh, right back here. So. All right, we are back with the lather. And I'll show you the soap first. So it's a pretty big uh, sample here. And I probably used like half the sample to, uh, that's probably, that's like how much soap I put in the bowl to make the lather. Um, I like using a lot of soap when I make my lathers. So yeah, look at that. Man, this soap can take a lot of water, but look at that, that lather looks nice sheen to it. It's still got some structure. Let's see if it, uh, if I wiggle it, if it'll, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks really good. So this, um, this old soft heart base, like I said, I never used this soft heart base before. Man, this, <laughs> this soap can take water. I think that's pretty common with Barrister and Man soaps. They are very, very thirsty soaps. Um, yeah, I had to put a lot of water in this to get it to the consistency that I like, but hey, I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Look at that, really nice lather. 
on the brush. Wow. Yeah, it look, kind of looks like Greek yogurt. So, um, yeah, that's it's going to be a good one. So, go ahead and wet the face here. And start the uh, halo shave. So, feels good to be back in my shave den again. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I've ever taken like a, over a month hiatus before. It's, this is the first time on my channel. Um, you know, for obvious reasons, since I've been busy with the wedding stuff. But um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I mean, I am busy a lot with like work and everything, but hopefully it doesn't become like a pattern where I'm doing like one video a month. I'm sure it won't, but it just feels good to be back. I guess that's kind of my point, so. All right, I guess with the lighting here, you can kind of see some of the sheen in the in the lather. <laughs> this brush is massive. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, if anyone else has experience with this old uh, soft heart base or know what year it's from, uh, I came in the hobby in 2017. The soft heart base might have even been before I was in the hobby, so I don't know. But I think I came in when he was at Excelsior. I don't know, like the base timeline with Bear Stern Man. So if anyone knows, uh, fill me in. Probably got about a week's growth here, maybe a little less. Nice, uh, yeah, nice creamy lather. I think um, it's pretty common with Bear Stern Man soaps that they're kind of a lower structure lather, meaning like, you know, with with like a Phoenix soap, how it the lather it's very it kind of explodes in the bowl and it gets everywhere. I think. Um, very stern man is kind of lower structure. Um, I think decoration grooming is kind of the same way where no matter how much you lather it up in the bowl, it don't because of because of the ingredients in the soap, it just doesn't really blow up. It just kind of stays at a um you know, I guess kind of something like that where it's like not everywhere. But yeah, it's just because of the chemicals in the soap. I always found that interesting. Very nice. Let's get the mustache here. Does anyone else do night shaves? I pretty much always shave at night. Or at least for my off-camera shaves, but I just like taking my time with the shave. I don't like rushing in the morning. I am not a morning person, so. Hope trying to get too much shove up the nose there. So right, looking really uh really nice dense. Cushiony lather here with the halos, really nice. Yeah, this took a lot of water. This is a thirsty base. That's pretty common with uh, all of Will's bases. So, doesn't mean it's not a bad thing. You know, I don't. I like the lathering process. I don't mind that it takes time. So. All right, Maggard B3A head, favorite razor head. Let's go. All right, with the grain. I usually do short kind of buffing strokes. I'm going to try to do longer strokes this shave and kind of practice with that. Yeah. And then I'll kind of just switch to buffing. Yeah, so I, uh, I'm really glad I f Josh sent me a lot of this Hallow soap because I did miss out on it. Uh, I would out like all the times that this has been out since 2017, I kept missing out on it and I was bummed, but really glad I finally got it because man, this is a killer scent. So I'm a, you guys know, I'm a huge fan of like false scents. Halloween type scents, uh, right up my alley. Uh, the false scents have always been a, my favorite. Um, so Hallows, so Will on the Bear Stern Man site, he says it's inspired by the swamps and churchyards of Boston. And I think he said he's from Boston. I, I don't remember, but. Or that's where he first started his operation. Um, I've only been to the city of Boston like once. 
but I can imagine during the fall it gets pretty uh pretty chilly. Yeah, so we said it's inspired by the swamps and churchyards of Boston. So right, right off the bat, when I read that, I was like, yeah, this is <laughs> this is gonna be up my alley. Um, I definitely gravitate towards kind of wacky creative sense like that. Uh, so the notes in here are vetiver, oak moss, black pepper, cocoa, labdamum, and cedar. You don't need a whole lot of scent notes to have a good, a good scent, you know? I have a lot of soaps that just have one scent note or one or two and they're amazing. You don't, you don't, a scent doesn't need to be complex to be good. But I would still classify this as a, uh, as a complex scent because it is kind of a hard one to describe. But I'm, man, I'm, I'm really in love with the scent. So this is a, this is like a dark cocoa-y, vetiver-y kind of scent. Like it really does remind you of like, um, like you said, I guess kind of like, um, like a graveyard at night in Boston or like a old swamps and churchyards in Boston. Like, um, I have a lot of false scents in my den. And this scent to me, um, this scent to me like is the scent of Halloween. Like this is what I imagine the perfect Halloween scent to be. Um, Hallows is it. I mean, this scent is Halloween, like in my head for sure. hundred percent. Which I just love. Um, yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, dark, vetivery, cocoa-y woody um i think i actually pick up the cocoa more than more than anything like just so i get like a really dark cocoa like a dark grassy woody cocoa god this this is the scent of halloween i just love this scent i could see why a lot of people really love it yeah right up my alley that's a good first pass there Good push shape slickness, as always with Barristan Man. Probably missed a little bit. I'll get it on the uh, on the next pass. This is really, really good stuff. Boom. Just gonna go against the grain here. Call it a day. Yeah, very, very rich, dark, rich, sweet, dark, cocoa-y. Definitely get the grassy vetiver in there. Uh, I'm not too well-versed in like vetiver scents, but yeah, just, this just is like the scent of Halloween. I just really, really, really love this scent. And um, what I like about Barrister and Man a lot is, you know, Will, he, he doesn't make sense that he doesn't just try to make a bunch of crowd pleasing sense that everybody's going to like. This is this is a scent that is polarizing and that not everybody would like. Um, but you know what? He just makes what he wants to make. And I just really like when artisans do that and they don't just try to make a bunch of crowd pleasing sense. You know, they just kind of do their thing and they know some people aren't going to like it and that's okay with them. Um, this is not a crowd pleasing scent. <laughs> But I just love what the scent is and I really admire the creativity behind it and the originality. And I don't recall smelling anything, anything else like this in the wet shaving space. This is a very original scent to me. So really, really awesome. And you know, I know a lot of us know how good Bear Stern Man is, but I just I just really like what Will has always had going on over there with his his creativity, you know, um, not only is he a great soap maker, but he's also a great scent maker as well, or whatever the term for that is. A little cut here on the neck, uh, I was just being careless.
Yeah, when I do my video shaves, I do them out here and not in my bathroom where the visibility is not really as good. It's good enough, but um, not as good as the visibility in my bathroom, but you know, so there's going to be cuts here and there, but it, it's part of the process. It doesn't bother me, so. Yeah, I think the scent he did uh, for Christmas a couple of years ago, Vespers, um, it's based on, it's supposed to smell like the Gossler Christmas market in Germany, and he just nailed it. Um, that's probably my favorite creation that he ever did. And yeah, if anyone else likes Vespers, let me know, because, <laughs> man, it's just, it smells like Christmas. Whereas, that's like the best Christmas scent I've ever smelled, and this is like the best Halloween scent I've ever smelled. Like, Hallows is the scent of Halloween. Vespers is the scent of Christmas, so he really, uh, he really knows what he's doing. And I do want to go to one of those uh, Christmas markets in Austria or Germany at some point. That's that's on our list. I'm sure Vespers smells just like that. And, you know, I haven't really been watching a lot of people's videos since I've been busy. But, um, I just hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Feels good to come on here and say hi to everybody. And, you know, just tell me, I would, I'm curious, you know, what have you been shaving with? And you know I like engaging with you guys in the comments, so. And yeah, for uh, fall scent fans or like gourmand scent fans, like scents that smell like food, it, I, I would classify this as like a dark gourmand sort of scent. Um, yeah, that's kind of your thing. I can't recommend this one enough. Right, awesome shave. I'm sure, sure I missed a little bit. I can get it later. But... You know, pretty darn good. Yeah, nice shave here. Flowers in the dark. Still got a lot left of that, fortunately. Um, yeah, sadly, Dr. Johns is no longer no longer around, but I think they had a pretty good run. Yeah, this this is a great pairing with Hallows. This is a very Well, this is a floral. It's a very dark lavender. Very, very dark. You could definitely pick up the coffin wood in there. I think most people would classify flowers in the dark as the best lavender in the in wet shaving. At least I do. It's just phenomenal, phenomenal. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Just a little bit, but <laughs> I'll get it later. But anyways, that was a great shave, guys. Um, and I just want to thank you for tuning in and for everyone subscribing. And um, I'm sure I'll be back soon. I'm still in love with the hobby, not going anywhere. And um, hope everyone has a good end of their fall, start to their winter and everything. So um, take care and thank you again for watching.